and let's go. Two-punch combo by Marvin Hadley. Tommy Hearn blocks that punch. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Tommy Hearn blocks that punch. I like how he doubles up that jab by Marvin Hadley. Not able to land the uppercut. Now he ties up there. Back in September of 1980, Marvin Hagler finally was able to nail down the crowns that had eluded him earlier when he won the middleweight title by defeating Alan Minter. And as many times has been the case with Marvin Hagler, he had to go on the road to do it. Now, that fight was stopped from a cut eye. The fans there, Minter's fans back in the UK, they didn't take a liking to it. Hagler couldn't even celebrate winning the world title. No, actually, his people and other people didn't really have to cover him from the garage of bottom. Oh, that's got to hurt. combination. Tommy Hurst is dead. He's going to have to beat the count. Hearns rising to his feet after that knock. You know, he's always been good at dishing it out. That's the first thing you think about, and the first thing the opponent thinks about is who's been a big puncher. Now let's see how he acts when he's on the receiving end. We're going to find out. Able to block that away. Sack, he was targeted sack, for his head. head. Sack, sack. Come on now. Hagler's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. I think most people would probably figure if we were to make a checklist of the advantages and disadvantages you want in a fighter, superior hand speed would definitely be a big advantage. But you've trained many a guy who's been up against the guy with better hand speed. What have you told them? Well, I told him that that's only one dimension. That's only one thing. Turn that against them. Make it a kind of place where they can't use it. Good block there by Tommy Hearns. Tommy Hearns is at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Tying up again here after being knocked down. What should his opponent be doing to deal with this? See, that's Let's the right the question. He's just looking at the tight grabber. His opponent is allowing him to grab. You know, it takes two to tangle to do that dance. His opponent should be taking a step back, not letting him grab, and keeping his hands moving. Nice quick jab by Tommy Hearn. Tommy Hearn's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. And a well-placed combination by Marvin Hagler. Do that again! Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Digs in with the jab, cutting down the tree there. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Tommy Hearn. Solid right by Marvin Hadler. Tommy Hearns is on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. Boxing 101, jab followed by the straight. Defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, look at the close-up of that cover. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. There he goes with the right hand again. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Good combination to the body. Hearns 
his right hand scores well. Took a shot, now he gets the left. That was a nice hook that landed that time by Marvin Hagler. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Hey, you wonder who's got a call waiting outside. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Landing two jabs by Tommy Hearn. That's a good left hand by Marvin Hadler. Good flush shot upstairs. Hagler scores with the uppercut. A well-placed left hand up top. Big shot there. Oh, we knew he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. Tommy Hearns is going to have to pull himself together here. Now he beats the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around that wobble right now. So what he's got to do is grab on a little bit and walk. Walk to the rope. Still some time. There it is! And those are the ones you really don't you know, prepare for. You prepare for the ones that are more sophisticated, the ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training for these. And the bell rings, Ooh. signifying the end of the round. As we start round number four, not a lot separating these guys. Sometimes you can steal a round or two just by being the busier guy. Yeah, and it reminds me a little bit about those legendary stories the old timers used to tell me about Rocky Marciano. You know, they used to say that he used to hit the guy's arms. You know, he wasn't scoring clean, but he was keeping his opponent from scoring back. And then later in the fight, he was disabling his opponent from coming back. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Oh, and a big right hand land. Solid. How is he going to survive this? Once again, he hits the deck. He's going to have to find a way.